All right, now to school news. Today marks the first day several new cameras in Bibb County are issuing tickets to people speeding in school zones. 41 NBC's Deshaun Campbell reports. If you're thinking about speeding in a school zone, you might want to think twice because the message from Macon Bibb County officials and members of the community is slow down or pay up. Well, if they run out in front of a car that's flying, it's going to kill, kill one of your children. Yeah. So you safety is the best to be safe. Kathy Green has lived in Macon for 20 years. She's a mother and grandmother who says she's seen her fair share of people speeding in school zones. This is something Macon Bibb County Mayor Lester Miller and other county officials are hoping to prevent with new enforcements for anyone driving 10 miles per hour or more above the speed limit. It's all being tracked by cameras located in school zones throughout the county. The camera takes a picture of a license plate for those at speed. Macon resident Ben Zanford says all of it's an adjustment. Uh, still got to get used to, to the idea. And uh, there's been a lot of uh, publicity about them, so uh, people should, should know what to do. And for those who don't know or refuse to slow down, they can expect to receive a ticket in the mail. For more than a month, the county has issued warnings to drivers who went above the speed limit. Patricia Sams is one of those residents. She's a grandmother of nine who says the new cameras are a reminder for her to slow down. I can't lie, I have speed across there too myself, but when the school zone is in, I go the speed limit because I wouldn't want no one to hit my grandkids. Sam says the cameras will have a positive impact. It would be a good thing if they get enough tickets, they'll slow down. Of course, the whole goal is to slow down so you avoid getting a citation. If you find yourself in that spot, you can expect the first citation to be $100. Any violation after that is $150. Not a cheap ticket when you could just slow down. Reporting in Macon, Dejon Campbell, 41 NBC News. Now, speed limit enforcement is active one hour before school starts until one hour after dismissal. They will also enforce normal speed limits during those hours, not just the lights flashing limit. The new cameras are active at Carter, Hartley, Heard, and Springdale Elementaries, as well as First Presbyterian Day School and Windsor Academy. In all, more than a dozen cameras are now active at schools across Macon. For a full list of schools the cameras are at and the enforcement hours, you can find our coverage at 41NBC.com.